Hello again. I'm going to demonstrate a little app that, a fairly simple app that plays podcast MP3 files from the Weather Channel. And I'll uh, show you the things that I did to set it up. And we'll start with here's what the app looks like. We're going to pick a city. Pick Atlanta. From the Weather Channel Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Mark Thibodeau. Here's your Atlanta area forecast and the forecast for all of northern Georgia. It is Thursday, April the 6th. Okay, so it gives you a five day forecast for the selected city. And uh, where I got this is from a page that is located. This is weather.com, and this is the URL. It gives you access to these different podcasts, which are just MP3 files inside an XML document. And uh, for example, for Atlanta, Georgia, the five day forecast, you'll find that inside. document that looks like this. This is what the podcast document looks like and there's the actual mp3 file and get my script here. Okay so this is for major US cities. It's updated three times a day and uh, gives you five-day forecasts for those supported cities in that list. Each of the MP3 files is a URL and it's in this format HTTP and all of this and then the city name is the thing that changes here for each of those cities that were in that list. Uh, Atlanta looks like the this and all we need to store an app inventor is the city state combination so we can show that in the list picker and the, the, the file name for the mp3 file. All of the mp3 file names have this same prefix URL and this suffix mp3. So we don't need, really need to store that when we store our list of URLs in the uh, App Inventor app. We only really need to store the city and state which will be displayed in the list picker for each city. The mp3 file name which is the part before the decimal point that has decimal point mp3 but it doesn't need to include this part because we can just use this one time and paste it with the join block and all of those are just chained together separated city state separated with a comma from the mp3 file name and that is ended with a backslash n then the next city state comma mp3 file name backslash n all the way till the end and you don't need to put a backslash n at the end and this gives us the CSV table format. That we need in App Inventor. And so the actual data would look like this. Atlanta, Georgia, comma, Atlanta. Atlanta is the MP3 file name. That comes from this here. and a backslash in. Then Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore, backslash in, all the way through Washington, D.C. Um, that's imported, and I'll show you the blocks to do that. 
that's imported into a list of pairs. A list of pairs that, that contains each item in the list of pairs contains two items the city state and the mp3 file name so um, the city state part will be you use to populate the city list picker and when a city is picked look up in pairs block will be used to get the mp3 file name from the city state name then the podcast player will play the mp3 file and uh, then I'll show you the, to, to make the app look nice. I found a Weather Channel logo in Google Images, then added the text podcast to fit in the, in, in the GIMP image editor, and then uh, set that as the background of the screen. All right, so let's look at the blocks. Here's the data that I entered based on what was found in those podcast files, the city state and the, the root of the MP3 file. Baltimore, Maryland is Baltimore, Boston is Boston. Most of these are just the city name, but some are a little bit different. Las Vegas is just Vegas MP3. So those are loaded into the city and state names are loaded into the city list picker here. We use a for each item in list loop to take the city state, that's the first item in each of these pairs, and plug that into the city list picker to build the list, the list picker list. Now once a city has been picked, we need to set the source of the podcast player component. And here we're using that common prefix URL and we are doing a lookup in pairs to get that city match that key value which is a city state combination in to one of these in this list and that will return the short name that mp3 file name and then we append mp3 to the end of that so once we have our URL built we just call the podcast player start block which plays the podcast and that's really all there is to it these are the main things it, build your list, let the user pick the, the name of the city, build your mp3 file, play your mp3 file, and those are all that you need to make this podcast player. Okay, I said I would show you the, um, the way that I found that image here using Google image search and then I used the GIMP editor to add the word podcast to the end and that became the background for the app. So uh, there's some other tools that are used besides App Inventor to do this, but uh, you can use whatever your favorite vi uh, image editor is and uh, just practice tinkering with images and uh, you can do this too. So thanks for watching and happy inventoring.